YouTube, Boys and Dog Frog Hobbies. This is Bradley, and I'm here with another video for you guys. So, I've been away. And the reason being, um, hold on, let me check the last time I actually did a video. Because, um, like I was saying, I've been away. Uh, I was doing like a lot of work down here in this area. Recently got the floor done. Thank goodness, because I was absolutely tired of that uh, plywood, nasty, schlacked floor. Like, that thing was horrible. And I pretty much wanted to get on my grind. I'm actually filming a web series. And um, what else? Been kind of working. Of course, you guys know the holidays. And where were we at? Let me see something. I haven't filmed the video since October 7th. Not filmed or released. I actually was filming some stuff, but for some reason, I didn't keep it. I scrapped it. Some some cards somewhere. I want to do like some quick edits, some stuff that I've been watching from uh, fellow like camera YouTubers and things like that. Uh, what was I gonna get into? So. Basically updating you guys. I've had like the epic fail with the Moravia. And I think that happened because uh, while installing the floor, because I always work with these guys that take 10,000 years. So you know, they probably built wrong. You know why? Because it wasn't built in a day. So they took like forever. I ended up, um, I don't know if it's because I didn't have lights on and stuff for maybe two, three days the most, but like all of the Ungravia is like shriveled up. So this has to be like a replant project. This tank's doing good. The Ungravia in there is like, it's just dead. Like I'll show you guys, it's just dead. So, but basically in the meantime, besides frogging, what I've been doing, is collecting isopods. I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different types of isopods right now. And if this fell, I'd be pissed. So I'm um, basically just uh, started with the isopods probably from like frog day. And that was in September as you seen, like I picked up uh I picked up the powder blue isopods from Pauly and then I got the Dalmatian zebra and uh some Porcilio scabers from uh, I brought all of those from eBay. And like there's like so many and I don't know like it's just kind of like it's not this because you know you can't build a tank and you really won't see them but like I didn't even know like the isopod like a uh, hobby was really even even a thing like you have so many people that are collecting isopods in. so you see like the most expensive I've seen were like the rubber duckies you have like titan uh, some like titan giant isopods like this is just like crazy so they're like people with like 20 plus 30 plus different variations of isopods so I was just like oh. I brought I brought my powder orange from Pauly and my powder blue from Pauly and then I was just like scrolling through YouTube it's a thing and I think it's more of a thing and it's really like being highlighted now because of the whole uh, bioactive, like that bioactive name thing, whatever, bioactive, which is now the whole big thing in the fro community and many other herb communities that deal with terrariums as well as vivariums. So, Isopods are they're like fairly decent to keep, like uh, easy. So 
I'm just like, all right, let me let me buy some isopods. So let me let me get into the isopods. Show you guys what's what's going on here. Okay, so these guys are pretty much my babies. These are the powder orange. Sorry, I can't really get too much closer. Um, these are like the first isopods I had. I got these from Pauly. If you don't, I mean, if you hear like some funny noise, that's just the camera lens. And we're just going to have to deal with that because this is as close as I'm going to get. I should try this other lens, but it doesn't have any like uh, image stabilization. And it's going to be shaky as hell. So here the powder orange. They are kind of metallic. I need to add some, uh, what's the name of this stuff? Some dirt, got like cocoa type dirt. Can't remember it. the name of it right now. Oh, cocoa hot dirt, whatever that stuff. So you hear that? That's like the lens focusing. So bear with me. And uh, that white thing there, white creamish thing, is like a piece of calcium. It's um one species of isopods. Isopod. They really like this thing. In their little setup. Okay, so like my next bin is uh like the dwarf white. You can't really see them, and they they kind of play dead. I thought they would reproduce pre uh, pretty fast. I also need to throw some dirt in here as well because uh, I don't know. I think they would like more dirt. See, like you can't really see them here. I definitely have to get like a better lens to get closer. So yeah, I have, I've had these like a whole bunch of times. These are very common in the hobby. Like a lot of people use these for their frogs, but I don't think that I'll be putting like certain species in with my frogs. I'll just be keeping them for like whatever reason. To me, it's kind of like weird that I'm keeping isopods. It might be weird to like the average person that I'm keeping frogs, but yeah. Okay, so this is what I got from eBay. These are the Persilia, Persilio Scabers, Gibers. And um, these are like 20 bucks. They're pretty active. I don't think, well, yeah, I'm going to say. I don't think that these are the isopods you'll find in your backyard under a rock. So I remember being young and I always used to like play with bugs. Like there are like so many of these. So I have to do like a lot more research to see if they will be good in a vivarium. They're like on the bigger side. They like to burrow. And it looks like um, they already started reproducing. I got these probably sometime in December. That's when I really started buying the isopods. But I don't. I don't think that these are the same things that are under your rocks in the backyards if you live in America. Yeah, like those. Like they used to roll up. Like these don't roll up. And this might sound like pretty dumb of me, but I never knew, like, they used to call isopods roly-polies. Like, my little cousin, he's from Atlanta. He came up, and I showed him. He's like, oh, roly-polies. I'm like, oh, roly-polies? I never heard of that before, ever, until sometime last summer. These are the Dalmatian Isopods, they're called Dalmatians because they are spotted. Um, yeah, like if you really look on eBay, you'll find uh, you'll find like a whole bunch. You'll find like so many like different uh, sellers of isopods. So like they're they're spotted and um. I don't know, like, there's a name for the isopods that roll up. So these were like twelve, they were like twenty dollars free shipping. I think I think it's really cool. 
I was gonna get chewed up by people. Oh, it's too dry in there. You don't have enough dirt in there. These are my powder blue isopods. They look metallic. Supposed to be in blue, they look just like those uh scabers, but um, they're cool. I think they started to reproduce. Picked these up at Frog Day 2019, yeah, they're doing pretty good. This, like, these little ISO box uh setups are, are fairly easy and easy to maintain. You just throw whatever like uh grub you have for them i have stuff from paulie of uh, vivariums in the mist go check him out he has a whole bunch of feeders for your isopods as well as your springtails here's the iso grub these are minnows dried up fish this is a uh, iso mill so mealworms and this is the iso scampi scramps get those from Paul leave a very in the mess I'll leave a, a link in the description below okay and these are the iso zebras they're striped I promise you guys I'll have a uh, better lens. I think these actually started reproducing. I'll have a better lens next time to get these little small creatures. Oh yeah, I think they definitely started reproducing. Cause I think there were, I think I got like six of them in the order for like 20 bucks. Like if you shop around, you'll definitely, you'll definitely find deals on isopods on eBay. I don't, I don't know like what, what they're being sold for in the hobby, but I just feel like as far as like shipping and paying, it's more convenient to buy them off of eBay. So that's my last bit of isopods. Okay, so that's it. That's all we have today. I just had to show you guys some isopods. I'll be making like future videos. I need to stop being so lazy. I wish you guys would roast me in the comment section like, yo, please start giving us videos. Like, I would ultimately love to make three videos a week. I'm just, I don't know. I have no real explanation why I'm not making these videos, but, um, Still waiting on tank stands. Uh, definitely trying to recover. Can't be spending all of my money. Then I'll be broke and I won't be happy. I won't be able to make you guys videos. So once I have everything in order, I promise you guys, I promise you, three videos, if not more a week. Let me wait. Let me say two videos. If I give you guys two videos a week, you gotta love me have to you have to so hit that like button please comment wait, wait wait that's not how we do things until next time like don't dislike comment subscribe and enjoy your frogs thank you